okay if you want to use gradient color on your text so you can use it actually gradient color mean more than two colors okay when you click on this option uh, fonts color I mean when you click on this small arrow so you can see we have a option which is gradient but unfortunately if you click on any of these options it will not work okay and it seemed disabled because now you haven't selected anything okay so I already told you many time if you want to work on any text so MS for don't know on which text and uh, on which area you want to work okay so definitely you will need to select your text so first of all I will select my text you can also uh, for use selection for shift button okay if you press shift button and hold down it and use your arrow key use your left arrow key or right arrow key according to your text direction so you can select your text now as you can see I selected my this text and now I will click on this uh, a tool and you can see gradient tool is working just simply you can also use these gradient but it's not very professional and it's not seem different okay so i will click on more gradients when you click on more gradients so you can see uh, we have selected now text fill and definitely we will use only text fill okay text fill option but uh, on these three option uh, haven't selected any option by default so you will need to select the last one option which is gradient fill click on it okay and now you can see when you select gradient fill option so you will see this type of option the first option is preset that's mean in ms word have some uh, category some uh, preset category which you can use i mean uh, in ms word having some uh, gradient color category which you can use in your uh, on your text okay for example if you use this one okay this one so you can use it it's not important that you can use only this category you can also create new gradient color or you can also modify it okay so if you want to create new gradient so definitely you will not use this list okay and if you want to modify it so you will need to just click on any this um, box which you want to modify it for example if i click on this one rainbow okay so you can see uh, in this gradient have lots of color okay that's mean this small arrow mean this is a separate color okay this one is also separate this one this one okay and this one and this one and this one that's mean this gradient color consists on seven different colors okay so now if you want to modify it first of all you will need to click on any of this arrow any of this color as you see the first one color is something like pink or uh, dark purple you can see just click on it and when you click on it so you can see you can change your color from this box you can change your brightness and even your transparency okay if you click on this second one so you can see you can also change this position brightness and transparency okay and click on third one fourth okay so we will change these all color as well uh, as our according to our requirement so i will click on this first one so now i selected this first small arrow and if i click on this color panel box so you will see this type of color if you uh, think this color is uh, enough for you so you can use it and you want to use some more colors so simply click on this last option more colors okay and here you can see we have two option standards custom okay you can use standard one okay and also custom so you can also put your codes okay if you have codes so just simply put your red codes green code blue code okay which is called rgb okay you can also use hsl color but it's not 
uh, very perfect for printing if you want to print your this document which you want to work uh, which you want to create uh, after this setting so you must have use rgb okay because rgb is very perfect very good result uh, will give you in printing okay so i will use this rgb and i will use this color now you can see our first color is change second color is blue i will select on this arrow and now you can see i can uh, can change this color even i can change brightness okay i will select second color third color this time i will use black and i will set my transparency uh, sorry brightness to uh, 18 percent i will select my this uh, fourth uh, arrow okay and this time i will use red color and i will set my transparency something like that i will select this 615 okay five number arrow and i will use something like orange type and you can also set your brightness and i will use this six one arrow and this time i will use mm, purple and i will use brightness 46 percent and last one uh, you can also delete it okay for example if you want to only three colors so you can delete this other one okay just click on uh, it and uh, click on this remove gradient stop okay but first of all you will need and you will choose to delete which gradient color you want to delete it for example if i want to delete this black one or this uh, uh, second one arrow color so i will select on it click on it and then if i press this uh, small remove gradient stop button so it will delete okay and you can also add new gradient if you want to add new gradients just simply click on the small button which is in the which name is add gradient stop okay click on it and you can see it will add you can also move it to any side to left side to right side okay but now for this time i will delete it and uh, i will set my color something like that i will also delete this one okay and just simply click on close you can also use this direction okay now you can see direction will be something like that actually when you play with these options so you will know very well okay so you should play with these options just click on close and you can see it's done it's not looking uh, that's it's our gradient color is applied but let me zoom and you will know now you can see our gradient color is applied so that's it this is all about how you can use gradient color